Happy Wednesday. So I've been thinking about this whole 10,000 hours thing. And yes, there's a song 10,000 hours, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about putting in the 10,000 hours that you need to put in for mastery to be legit at something. It's not easy getting in those 10,000 hours. You know, how many things are gonna come up that you're gonna wanna do instead? You know, how many, you know, life events are gonna get in your way? But we're not gonna think about that. We're gonna think about the positives. And what I, what I honestly think is that if you want to overcome all of the anxieties and all this crazy stuff that has to do with gaining weight and eating the wrong foods, you are going to have to apply those 10,000 hours to, you know, reshaping your life, figuring out why your behavior is the way that it is. Just on a little side note, I did wake up lighter this morning, almost a pound. Now I can't say I was totally inactive because I did do maybe 20 minutes of freeboarding, nothing crazy. I have like this little uh, sidewalk piece that I uh, like to ride. Been riding for a while actually, where I just work on a bunch of spins on it. I probably, I think I did that six times and the piece is probably 60 yards. So I, you know, not that much riding. Just, uh, you know, I just wanted to get out there. There was a little bit of time that I had between like the rain uh, um, stopping and starting back up again and the ground was kind of dry. So I went out there and just did a few yesterday. So I was, like I said, I wasn't totally inactive, but as I said yesterday, you know, I'm happy that I had these last few days to kind of play around with the food intake to see exactly what I could get away with. And I'm actually very surprised, but I do believe that the, the, uh, the reason why this whole thing is actually clicking on all cylinders is the fast. Um, the fast is, um, what is it? 15 hours that I don't eat any food. I don't eat between, um, six PM and 9 AM. And that's, um, you know, I believe that that's the way to go if you are trying to get serious about your eating window. I don't think, I tried to do the daytime fast and it's not bad. I don't think that there's anything necessarily wrong with the daytime fast. I just think that it's easier for my schedule. For someone else, the day fast may be great. And it's not that I couldn't stick to it, but I just didn't feel like as, like there's just something about going to bed hungry. You know, it's not that I necessarily like it, but there's just something about going to bed hungry and feeling like that empty feeling and knowing like I'm going to wake up lighter because my body is moving into this anabolic phase. I'm gonna be recovering. My body is already in a position where it's empty and all those nutrients that I took in up to 6 p.m. are gonna be getting used to restore my body to you know for to, to replenish all of my muscles and joints and you know and and give me everything that I need to get through that next day which requires a lot of energy especially if you're um, pushing protein synthesis through weight training and I haven't been weight training so if I eat along the same stuff you know pretty much that I ate yesterday today and then I get out there, you know, and then I and then I don't eat after six. Tomorrow, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna eat light. I'm gonna wake up lighter. So I'm gonna do my best to have exactly the same thing. Maybe I'll change like the ingredients of a couple of things, but for the most part, the plan is to, you know, eat the same thing that I ate yesterday, and then wake up, you know, lighter tomorrow. So we'll, we'll you know, we'll see. So back to 10,000 hours. Anything that you wanna master, and mastery of self is what I'm talking about. Read the book Mastery by Robert Greene. And does this stuff apply directly? No, these are just thoughts that I have. But I honestly do think that we as human beings, not all the time, but a lot of the time want to circumvent the process. This isn't something that you necessarily wanna circumvent the learning and the and the the maturity into this you know um new lifestyle 
because that's really what it is. You have to mature as a person. You are adolescent minded when it comes to like the goal you want. And as I always say, if you don't want to get lean and you're not and you're not an endomorph, this information is not for you. I'm speaking to a very like small group of people, you know, endomorphs that want to get lean, not endomorphs that want to maintain, not endomorphs that want to gain weight, gain muscle, endomorphs that want to get lean, a lean, defined, ripped body. That's who I'm talking to. That's what I'm talking about. That's my goal. That's all I'm on. I'm not on anything else. That's what I'm on. It's a work in progress, folks. I've been there, done that, you know, and I've, I've, I've done the big cuts and I've come out on the other end not happy. So I know that it takes tremendous discipline, tremendous changes, um, tremendous changes to your behavior, to your demeanor, to your surroundings, to the people that you look to for advice, I mean, all this stuff. And so, I believe that the 10,000 hours, as I've said before, needs to start with the research. And, and, and then it needs to, you need to be figuring out a way to bridge the gap between your research and all the things that you learn, you know, figuring out what exactly is in that that group of literature, that, that, that literature that you've compiled, that knowledge you've, that you've compiled, figure out what's in there that works for you and do like I do, trial and error and data. And just be on point with tracking hours and, you know, not even like, you know, you don't got to track hour for hour, just, you know, like a broad idea. You know, how long have I been at this? You know, did, did I did I spend, do I think I spent an hour, you know, researching today? Great, okay, boom, there's an hour. And you just have a notebook and you just write the hours down. I know this is crazy, but you know what? Everyone that has reached ridiculous levels of success, not every single person, but a lot of the people that I study that have reached the ridiculous levels of, of, of um, success, they're writing stuff down, folks. They're tracking stuff. Just like me, I write down all my workouts. I write down everything. Why am I so like motivated to train all the time? I know people are like, man, you're putting up all these videos. Why am I motivated? Because every single time I work out, I'm writing down all the stuff that I do and all and, and, and how I felt everything, how many reps I got done, the exercise, everything. And con consistently, I see that stuff going up. I get excited when it's time to work out. I feel that when I have the 10,000 hours that I've applied to changing my behavior, mastering myself, I will be a better person, I will be a different person. I will have a higher mindedness when it comes to myself, self-preservation, health, improvement. Nothing is better than that. Nothing is better than that. And you know, I talk about a lean physique, but really it's all about health. You know, I don't sit here preaching, eat a bunch of beef, eat a bunch of crappy food. I, I've, I've said raw, healthy foods. I don't eat meat. You know, I don't eat dairy. The, you know, stay on the fish, you know, if you even want to eat that. But healthy foods, fruits and vegetables, beans, legumes, those kind of things. That's what I live off of. That's the reason why it's so difficult for me to cut. Because I don't eat a lot of protein. Because I can't. It's meat. You know, products I don't eat. Stop eating them a long time ago. So, I hope this is a good one. I hope that there, you know, that 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 it that it that it feeds you, you know, an idea of patience and that it helps you to realize from my experience from me sharing that it's it's a process. You know, I it, it's a process. You know, you're gonna be spinning your wheels, you're gonna be trying to figure things out, but no one can tell you how your body is going to respond to this stuff. You have to go out and do it. You have to go out and apply. And that's what I'm saying. That application is 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 time in motion, but you using that time in motion as a way for you to, you know, gather ideas and gather skills and apply them during that time frame 
to better yourself. That time's gonna pass either way. That 10,000 hours is gonna pass either way. That 20,000, 30,000 hours is gonna pass either way. Are you going to take advantage of it in a way that, you know, gives you a better life, gives you a better image of yourself, gives you a better feeling about yourself, or you're just gonna play games? Happy Wednesday.